Hi everybody. Today I'm going to make peach cobbler. I had a friend at work that wants me to show how to make peach cobbler. I've always used this recipe. I haven't really ever made any other kind of peach cobbler and it's so easy and really I mean I make it in this in like I call this a meatloaf pan but so it serves like six people so if you need to make you want to serve more than six I make more than one because they're just too easy and you can use any fruit you want um, so you can mix it up and you know make different ones today I'm going to make peach cobbler and I'm going to make I'm mixing it up with peach and blueberries so I've got peach and blueberries in here and you do two cups of fruit now you put in a third of a cup of sugar and, and I'm going to stir it up and let it set aside here let me get. I'm not, it wasn't as prepared as I planned. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I put a third a cup of sugar in with two cups of fruit. This, my fruit happens to be peaches and blueberries. Blackberries are really good with it and, and raspberries are just single fruit. Um, I like to mix up the fruits. So now I'm stirring the sugar in and then I'm just going to set this aside and let it all mix together. Now I'm going to make the the what we're going to do take this pan put two tablespoons of butter and this is really more like two and a half it doesn't really matter but and then i'm going to stick it in the oven the oven is set at 350 and i'm going to put this in and let the butter melt while i prepare the batter so this is going in the oven and it'll come back melted so now we're going to make the batter you're going to see how easy this is we're going to pour in is three fourths of a cup of of um, flour, and it's um, gotta pay attention here. Two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Whoops, making my mess already. And we're gonna mix that all kind of together, and. Um, and then you put in a cup of sugar with it. Now a cup of sugar with it. And we're going to mix all that together. Make sure it's all mixed in together. I'm telling you, this doesn't get any easier. You can sift the flour in the, with the baking powder and salt to make it a little finer if you want. I'd just keep it simple. So now we're going to, we need three fourths of a cup of milk that we're going to pour in it. Just remember your flour and your milk is the same. I'm going to stir it up. The oven is on 350. We have to wait for our butter to melt. This is the best peach cobbler and it's so easy. So now we're going to just wait for the butter to melt and I'll show you the rest of it. We'll just set this all aside and wait. Okay, so I melted two tablespoons of butter in, the, in this pan. It's hot because it just came out of the oven. So I, And I showed you how I mixed up the batter. All we do is pour this batter into the butter and you don't mix it, you just pour it in. This is, can't get any simpler than this. Okay, and now we're going to take the fruit and pour it on top and you don't mix it either. Get all the sugar and everything you put in there. And now we put it in the oven, 350, for 50 minutes, or until it's brown. I'm going to stick it in there. Okay, see how that looks now? Got something else cooking in here right now. Now we'll cook it for 50 minutes. You'll see how wonderful it is, and that was that easy. Okay, so here's my peach and blueberry cobbler. I, if you notice, I let it get brown and crusty on the top. That's what makes it so yummy. 
It's supposed to cook 50 minutes. I cooked it a little bit longer. My stove cooks slower for some reason. I, I usually don't time stuff. I watch for it. And you want that crusty look. I hope you enjoy it. I know you will. You can make several of these to serve to your friends. They eat with ice cream. You can eat it hot or cold. Uh, people will love this dessert. And it's so easy to make. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.